...to what Lamar and Mark Andrews have here in Baltimore, and that's why it's been so hard to find that. But Cooper Cup has it with Matthew Stafford. They spent a lot of time when Matthew Stafford came to the Rams, and he sees things the way a quarterback sees them. He understands the leverage of what's being played. Second down. Williams again. On the right side, and drilling him is Roquan Smith. Continuing to make plays all over. Yeah, you just got to get going. If, you, if you've got zero as the guy that you got to block, you can't stay too long on that down block. You, you've got to get leverage on him. So we, we talked about in the first half, keeping your eyes when you're engaged with the down man, still having your eyes on that second level. Third down, pressure coming. Stafford, oh my goodness! Kyle Van Noy drills Kyron Williams. Signed in September in his 10th year, as good as ever. We did not see this energy from this defense in the first half. I mean, that is textbook by Kyle Van Noy right there. It kind of starts off with Roquan Smith, where he's the one that kind of gets it going. So this defense starting to feed off the emotion from their teammates. That is a huge play. It's an eight-yard loss that knocks him out of field goal range. And so the punt team instead with Ethan Evans. And Prior to the ball being snapped. Oh. Play game. On the offense, five-yard penalty. Four pounds. A little bit more room to put his everything into it. That, that is a huge play, Joe. That's such a great point by you. And, and it's one of the things, you know, Charles Haley going into the Hall of Fame, one of the reasons why he got in, one of the stats they looked at was how many times he had a negative play right on the cusp of field goal range. And it was an, it was an astronomical number, how many times he forced a team to punt instead of attempting a field goal. Evan sends it down there yeah. and drops it inside the 10. They keep it out of the end zone. And Ethan Evans, the rookie out of Wingate, puts it at the 20 when it was looking like they were going to be back right up to the goal line. So after the safety, two-point deficit for Jackson and the Ravens. He steps up in the pocket and takes off, and Lamar Jackson runs for Ravens' first down. 16 yards before Ernest Jones gets him. As long as he's playing it safe, right? We, we talked about him not really running as a running back anymore. More that quarterback being a little bit safer. In a game like this, I, I love this decision. You know, look at all that green grass in front of him, but here on the finish... I just don't know. I don't know how Aaron Donald comes to work every day. Just be like, oh my goodness, this is going to get double team, triple team. They're going to hold me. Bear hugged. Jackson over 50 yards on the ground. Hands it off here. Keaton Mitchell sneaks his way through for four or five. We've got the ground game going a little bit after first half where they only ran it eight times for 37 yards. And the team that runs it more than any other. Runs it for more yards than any other in the league this year. I figured it was a matter of time. They've already topped their total from the first half here in this third quarter. Second and five from the 41. Jackson throws this out of bounds. Ernest Jones, who they've brought in a blitz, blitz a few times today, got right through there. Here, Thomas as well. Now he's going to come. He's standing up. He's he's kind of showing. He's coming. And Keith Mitchell, just you got to get over there a little bit sooner. You got to recognize that a little bit quicker. And the best thing to do in that situation, get up there with your offensive line where you're kind of shoulder to shoulder so you're not out in space. We talked about it when Brandon Stevens made that tackle on, on Kyron Williams. You know, close down that space. Same thing in pass protection. Get up there, get in all those big bodies and make your job a little easier. Ravens just one for six on third down today. This is third and five. Another blitz coming. Got rid of it. First down. It's Flowers. Only his second catch of the day. And it keeps his drive going. 
It's been surprising to me because th there is so much quickness and there's so many options. There's a lot of athleticism. You know, we, we've seen Isaiah likely with the big explosive touchdown in that first quarter. You know, Zay Flowers hasn't had a big role here yet this afternoon, but, but there's talent and skill out there when you get to the perimeter. They just haven't been able to get it all moving in the right direction today. Third quarter comes to a close. Kind of a weird with Miami for the best record at 9-3. and three. They've trailed this game much of the way. They're down 22-20 to 20 as we open the fourth. The Grinch. Rams trying to be the Grinch <laughs> for the Ravens today and trying to get their fourth consecutive win. Jumping into the playoff picture. Out of the middle of nowhere. Fourth quarter begins with the first and ten for Jackson. And the Baltimore offense from the 47. He's given time. Let's it rip. Be here. Not quite as good the last month. No, even even the win last week with the Saints. I mean, going up 21 nothing in the first seven minutes and holding on there to win that game. On second and ten, Jackson again well protected. It's likely in the flats. Isaiah likely stopped by Russ Yeast, but he's got a first down. Big day going for likely. His second game is the starter in Andrews' place. Yeah, he's the run after catch guy when you talk about that position. Uh, a lot of athleticism. Great job <laughs> with the assist right there on Kobe Turner. So to get that much help for your tackle and then go out and get the first down, well done by Isaiah likely. Edwards on first down. Finishes four to the 40. Jones and Williams there combining in the tackle. Gain a two, second and eight. You got to give this Rams defense credit. You know, sometimes, you know, the reason you don't kind of slide into what you do well and commit to that run game is, you know, you're not having a lot of success with it. It's really been. You know, kind of Lamar Jackson has given you kind of those sparks in the run game. And Jackson, their leading rusher, 52 yards. He looks to throw here. Far side. There's Beckham. He's got 19 yards and a first down for Baltimore. That's just really well executed. Darian Kendrick's got to get a little bit of depth, make this a little bit harder throw. He'll be down here playing the flat. He gets kind of pulled up a little bit too far, drift a little bit, make that throw over the top. A little bit harder into that soft spot. Beckham's got 83 yards on three catches against his old team, which, by the way, he could not speak any more highly of. He said his year there, less than a year there in LA, helped him find love for football again, raved about Sean McVay, even wore a Rams hoodie into the game today. Now, it's not like he had a Rams logo, but it was this artwork of a bunch of players, coaches from his time with the Rams. Restore his love for this game. Seriously, take a look at the jacket that he uh, he came in with today. I, I don't. Football is a hard game, you know, mentally, physically, and and sometimes with the negativity, with injuries and just missed opportunity, uh, you can get into a bad space mentally. And and to have somebody relight that fire for the passion of the game is is, is critical. Uh, and and that's the way that Odell Beckham Jr. speaks about Sean McVay. Ravens looking for the lead. Rams bringing everybody. Jackson got rid of it incomplete. That's the second drop we've seen today from Zay Flowers. And it's the hundredth time we've seen Ernest Jones in Jackson's face. Boy, Raheem Morris was not kidding. It, we, we talked to him about, boy, the energy from Ky Kyron Williams when he came in was great. He goes, Ernest Jones is that exact same guy on the defensive side of the ball for us. And, and when he was out of that lineup, and he actually told us, he goes, he probably played a couple of games, you know, injury-wise that he probably shouldn't have. We probably sat him down because he wasn't going to be able to play at the level that he wanted to. He goes, now that he's healthy, I mean, he is our energizer bunny on the defensive side. Third and seven, Jackson steps up. He gets out. Mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson on the move, looking for the sticks. Not going to get there. Got slammed down by Hoyt. Boy, you get Jackson loose like that, you figure it's going to end well for the Ravens, but Hoyt got him, and it's fourth and short. Keep your eyes on Michael Hoyt coming all the way in to pressure the passer. Look at where he is right now. But you don't give up. Look at that. That was a great decision right there underneath. 
creating that angle to get there because again we talked about this before he's going inside Jordan Fuller he's going to get that first down if Michael Hoyt is not trailing and now it's Tucker looking for the lead he's hit two today relative chip shot here from 33 have their first lead of the second half. That is Kyle Hamilton and not a great sign seeing him having the, the coat on and a day where he's dealt with an injury. Cam's going to have some details for us. Go ahead. Yep, just jogging right back to the huddle. Puka Nakua knows exactly what he did. Turned his head before he caught the ball. Yep. On uh, a day where he's got four catches, has had some big plays. There's one of them, potential one, off his hands right there. Second and ten. Kyron Williams, no room. That hole is plugged. Michael Pierce, 355 pounds, a wall for Williams to run into. We touched it on this in the first half, the grit that this team is trying to establish after kind of an easy start to Sean McVay's tenure. Here's your opportunity to show how far you are down the road in that progress. Third and eight. <laughs> Stafford, high throw and incomplete. Wanted Robinson. Again, you just there was a throw earlier. This is another one. This is amazing. You're kind of changing the arm angle. You're outside, and he's going to get it over Roquan Smith. That's the hard part. It's got to be a little bit high to get it over Roquan Smith. There's an opportunity there for Demarcus Robinson to make that play. Evans punts it. Duvernay is out, and so it's Tylen Wallace back to return for Baltimore. He got crunched at the 27. Evans trying to get to 10 and 3. It's Gus Edwards on first down, and he got tripped up in the backfield. It was Bobby Brown in there. You know, the Ravens, as good of a season as this has been, one of the big issues has been finishing games. And those three wins, and those three losses, they had leads in all of them. Double-digit leads in two of the three losses. Yeah, and, you know, we talked to Coach Harbaugh about it, and he said, you know, we, we're getting into that fourth quarter. You know, we don't want to look at it from that negativity position of we're not able to finish. But you're talking about two times with double-digit leads that, you know, th there's also something there with your inability to close those out. Empty set here. Jackson against the three-man rush has all day. All day. He continues to dance around and now runs and crosses the 30. He got tackled by Jonah Williams and third down coming up. What a great job by the Rams secondary to be able to stay with their their players. There's Zay Flowers. He's trying to find a way to get open for Lamar Jackson. Everywhere he moves, somebody's picking him up. And then you see the duress that Lamar was in. I, I think for a second there, I think all the Rams lost him. There's a couple guys who couldn't find him. Still was able to get a couple yards there. Third down and five. Rams bringing heat. Jackson steps into it and throws. Caught near the sticks, but just short. Darion Kendrick had the coverage on Flowers. And it's going to be fourth down and one. And John Harbaugh doesn't even hesitate with his decision. You got beyond the sticks, but you got to work your way back. Heck of a job to catch that ball, but falls a little bit short. And so Jordan Stout and the punt team out there. Austin Trammell to return.
Midway, point of this fourth quarter. High punt from Stout, fair catch from Trammell. Rims lost the ball there, then got back on top of it at the 14. And as the rain has continued to fall, this has started to look sloppier and sloppier in every phase. One of the challenges you can see, his eyes are up to field that. And if you've got some rain coming down, it's going to impact that. But a good job by Austin Trammell getting back on it. And I don't know, Joe, I, I thought that was a beyond a high point. I thought that was very majestic. Oh, man, I already used it, though. Can't can use only it use it twice. twice. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's showing off. So the Rams go back on offense with 8.01 left. They have led a lot of this game. Now down a point. They had a huge first half of offense. Move the ball really at will for a lot of that first half. But in the second half, one of the top defenses in the NFL has buckled down. Ravens putting up these numbers even without Kyle Hamilton. As Kyron Williams goes off the left side, it's Roquan Smith. The only Bobby Wagner has more tackles than Roquan Smith since he broke into the league five seasons ago. And he is just all over the field. He really has been. I did, they're perfect fits for what Mike McDonald is doing in this defense when you talk about Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen. I mean, they're downhill. They can line up anywhere in that front. In that box area, you can get them onto the edges. They can become end of line pass rushers. So it was a healthy first down game, second and three. Midway through this fourth quarter. Williams again. Boy, stop and start and exploded. He almost went off to the races. Touchdown saving tackle from Geno Stone. He went from zero to 100 like that. This is so close. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, no, you want to get north and south here because there's Jadavian Clowney coming in. He's about ready to make the tackle. He goes back the other direction, and this is so close to being all the way down into the end zone. Williams goes over 100 yards. First down at the 36. Stafford nice grab by Davis Allen the rookie tight end getting his opportunity without Tyler Higby he's got 19 yards here now you saw the change at the line of scrimmage Matthew Stafford there was a big audible last week on the 70 yard touchdown to Puka Nakua he saw something there again and he's able to get Davis Allen up the up the hashes for a nice completion He's got his first career touchdown. He's got three catches on three targets today. And the Ravens territory. Rams find it in on offense for the first time in this half. Stafford off play action. Steps up. Floats one. Nakua! Diving grab! Puka Nakua! Another highlight play! I don't want to take anything away from the catch, but I just want you to see this throw into the area that Matthew Stafford got it. We always talk about getting the ball into a spot where only your player can make a play on the ball. And at the other end of that, he stands in the pocket, takes a big hit from Justin Matabike. That's just courage in the pocket, great location, and a great finish by Puka Nakua. And a response for Nakua. Redemption after he dropped his last target. Here's Williams hopping his way through the hole for four or five. It's a maddening game, right? You've got one that's like right in your hands, and you drop that. And then the next series, you go make a catch like that. I mean, that's like backyard pony Ooh. football stuff there, diving in the rain, gloveless, making the catch. <laughs> One playoff, no, nope, no, nope, maybe two. Second and seven. Five, ten to go. <laughs> Stafford quickly to cop. Cooper Cup made a miss. Threw him off. First and goal. Cooper Cup with 15 yards. First the rookie, then the veteran who comes up limping. 
they do such a good job with the motion here to get everybody out flank but again we saw this earlier this half it's the it's the run after the catch you're trailing you, you've got to come to balance as you get around cooper cup and you just put your foot in the grapes whoops there you go and stepped out of bounds at the six market at the five and again cup came out of the game there wincing First and goal for the Rams down a point looking for an upset win on the road. Stafford to throw. Looking, looking, throwing incomplete out of the back of the end zone. A lot of purple back there. And it's second and goal. Cup comes back in here. Well, the Rams fans saying thank goodness with all the injury issues he's dealt with. Since a Super Bowl MVP performance. Having a great game today is Cup. 81 yards on seven catches. On second and goal. Stafford in trouble. Let's it go. It's a touchdown. There is a flag as Demarcus Robinson gets the score. Against his old club. He spent last season here in Baltimore. He's got the go-ahead touchdown late in the fourth quarter. How about Matthew Stafford? We saw him take that big hit on the throw to Puga Nakua. And then on that one, you know, just a great job of extending that and then finding Demarcus Robinson for the touchdown. Third touchdown pass of the day for Matthew Stafford. They're going to go for two here. That flag was picked up. And now you see the challenge flag fly out there. That's a good arm from John Harbaugh. Be interesting to see what he's challenging because all all touchdowns all scoring plays are reviewed Baltimore is challenging the ruling on the field of a touchdown All right Dean uh, Challenging the touchdown here. What do you think? Well, he can't challenge the ruling on the field was a touchdown. So all right. scoring plays are automatically reviewed So coach Harbaugh can't throw the challenge flag. That's a charge timeout and this challenge should not be allowed. It's interesting that it's gone this far where they said they're challenging. Now the officials are all coming together and certainly talking through exactly what you're saying. Well, let's see what he thinks that he's trying to challenge. And I mean, that looks like a good catch. And either way, based on what Dean is saying, it's already been looked at. It's a touchdown. He can't challenge it. And Two point conversion is going to come up at the Rams ahead 28 23. By rule, after a score, all reviews are made from upstairs. The team cannot challenge. By rule, we must charge a timeout. That's going to be Baltimore's first timeout of the second half. Which is no small thing either. Now trailing in this game late. And so Demarcus Robinson, who hardly played over the first two months with the Rams. He's gotten it going a little bit lately. Had a big game against Cleveland last week. And he's got the go-ahead touchdown here. Now the Rams look to go for two to get it to a seven-point game. Play action. Tipped and incomplete. And so it stays 28-23.